Little disclaimer for this video. I do not know what's up with my appearance, but it is not my finest look. <laughs> Firstly, don't know why I look like an Oscar award. Honestly, the shine on those cheeks is not okay. I think I went a little bit hard with the highlight. Secondly, do not know why my ear is beetroot red. It literally looks like it's about to fall off. The editor Millie was having a field day and I did consider not uploading it, but I spent a lot on dominoes. I don't want to waste that footage. So <laughs> here we go. I hope you enjoy anyway. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can probably tell from the title of this video and also the boxes that are surrounding me, I have got some dominoes. I've got some dominoes guys. I'm trying the new menu. I'm doing it. I'm taking the plunge. I was intrigued more than anything. I'm very stubborn when when it comes to dominoes i get the same thing every single time i go so i don't feel like this is really my sort of thing but i've seen so many people trying it and i thought you know what i'm gonna jump on that bandwagon i'm trying dun 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 the lasagna pizza and the carbonara pizza now this is what it looks like guys whoa you get an up close and personal so the top half is carbonara and then the bottom half is lasagna i'm not gonna lie the smells aren't the one and then i've also got some loaded fries i didn't even realize that domino's did fries at all oh that's not the fries and these are the cheeseburger loaded fries they actually do look quite good i feel like they look better than the pizzas to be fair and then these smell insane i think they're like chocolate cinnamon twisted dough balls or something another new thing as well the frank's red hot dip whoa why is everyone doing frank stuff at the moment like what's going on with frank's look at that i'm gonna start with the pizza i went for the thin and crispy base which i've never done before this must be the lasagna one it just looks a bit underwhelming i don't know if it's because it's the thin and crispy base mm. oh my god that is banging I don't really like the classic crust on Domino's pizzas. I think it's too thick and stodge, but this is like seriously thin. Mmm. I don't know if it's because I'm hungry or if it is just genuinely really good. The thought of a pizza with a cheese base gives me the ick a little bit. And she's only gone and got a whole pizza with a cheese base, but this is really nice. The meat on it is so tasty. That is stum. So this is a, oh God, I can smell the spice. I'm just gonna dip my crispy crust with crust in there. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. To be fair, it's not that bad, but it's like spicy but not. <laughs> but I don't really like that. Why did I do this? Seriously. Why did I do that? It's not the garlic and herb dip, I'll be honest. I don't think red hot sauce really goes with pizza. Next up, I'm gonna try the carbonara pizza. Now this I'm not too sure about. I don't really like mushrooms on pizza. I actually think that looks quite nice. No. Why did I say that? I meant I don't think that looks too nice. <laughs> Are you okay? That's so weird. It does actually taste like a carbon iron. Oh my god. Oh my god. How have they done it? Do you know what? They have smashed it in that that tastes like a lasagna and that tastes like a flipping carbonara. And I don't know how they've done it because how do you even make pasta dishes into a pizza? I don't know if I'd go for it again, but actually having a cheese base is kind of a vibe. I'm gonna have some of the hot sauce with the crust. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like the sauce. I don't know what happened with my camera, but 10 minutes of this mukbang was just, the screen was just black. There was still audio, but the screen was just black. I've had to cut out 10 minutes, which is so annoying. I thought I'd mention it because that is the reason that my pizza goes down and I've already eaten half of my chips, which I did not enjoy, by the way. And the reason why I jump randomly into a Q&A. <laughs> So just a little bit of context for you. Favourite holiday. I feel like I've actually answered this on the channel before. It would either be Disneyland when I was younger or Disneyland when I went with James. I think it was like a year and a half ago. As you can probably tell, I love Disneyland. <laughs> I just think it's the most magical place. Mm. Oh my God, I can't deal with this dip. That is magical, to be fair. Forget Disneyland. Mm. I'm actually really enjoying this place. It's just not as heavy, which is really nice. We went to Disneyland quite a few times when I was younger, and I just have the fondest memories of it. I took James for the, well, his first time, not last September, but the September before, and that was just absolutely amazing. It was nostalgic for me, but also like 
I can remember it properly whereas when I was younger obviously I have like the best memories from it but they're very like vague because I was so young whereas now I remembered like every single second and it was just incredible and I just loved it so much so one of the Disneyland trips I'm still powering on with these trips oh so these are the doble things i think i've shown you up close what they look like they actually smell insane so i'm quite excited they look like profiteroles to be fair let's go oh that is good actually mm. i'm here for that i can't taste as much cinnamon as i'd hoped because i love cinnamon but the chocolate is gorgeous on those i would get them again to be fair Mm. I really like this lasagna one. It's so good. Even though the thought of like pasta on a pizza is like seriously wrong to me. I need to stop eating these because they're really not nice. Ugh. It's not the toppings, it's the chips. They're so like potatoey, and I hate chips like that. Mm -mm -mm. Let's get some of this dip, baby. Mm, mm, mm. You can't beat that dip. It's just the best thing since sliced bread. It actually is. Incredible stuff. Names you'd like for a child. So I've always said since date dot that I love the name Rosie for a girl. I think it's so cute. And I'd shorten it to Rue, I think. I don't know why I've like always loved that name, but I just love it. Apart from that, I don't really have like any that I'm like set in stone on. I do just like a name that's spelled a little bit differently. Like my surname, surname. My middle name is Rebecca, but it's spelled R-E-B-E-K-A-H first ever job technically my first ever job was for my dad and i did some cleaning work for his offices every monday i think it was i'd go to my dad's offices after school and i'd like hoover the office i'd clean the stairs i'd clean the toilet this girl was a hard worker got a fiver a week i thought that was a lot of money to be fair i remember thinking yeah i'm balling like i'm raking it in my first proper job was actually at a play center a soft play center do they even exist still i hope so no they must do i was just like working the tills in the like cafe bit canteen bit i'm not gonna lie if it wasn't for the chocolate on top of that they would not be for me but the chocolate is gorgeous city or country both <laughs> i live in the country i work in the city so I, at the moment, am getting the best of both worlds. Also, I feel like I have chocolate around my mouth, so apologies if I do. I can work in the city and get the city life, but then also just come back to cows and sheep. And it's, yeah, it's vibey, to be honest. If I had to choose one, I would choose the city. Even though I was, like, born in the country and grew up in the country, I think I've always been a city gal. <laughs> Go to coffee order. Obviously, it depends where I am, because depending on the coffee shop, it will be different but at the moment it would be an oat milk flat white these dough balls just taste like dough balls with like cabris melted on the top i wouldn't be surprised if it was cabris actually that's what was given these are actually really good compared to the chips as well these are stunning oh my god i have that horrible like orange tinge around my mouth you know when you've been eating like spaghetti or something and you have like orange around your mouth no that's so not a vibe i'm insanely full right now but i'm very determined to finish all of this how do people do the 10,000 calorie challenge? That is one thing I don't think I could ever do because I would be sick. Just out of like anxiety. Oh my God, there's salt in here. There's salt like at the bottom. Maybe I should have put salt on them. I don't think that would have helped there. Oh, this is actually getting worse. Guys, I finished the chips. What the hell? I finished the flipping chips. I'm actually so proud of myself. I honestly am only just finishing this pizza for this dip at this point because I just forgot how good it was. And I've wasted all my crusts on the flipping Frank's <laughs> hot sauce one. Mm. it's just so damn good anyway sorry questions fave youtubers i would say at the moment and i've definitely mentioned her before on my channel my favorite youtuber is hannah marlin there is not an hour that goes by where i'm not watching one of her food challenges i'm really into grackle as well at the moment and Anastasia Kings North as well. I think her family are hilarious. Like her, Atticus and her mum, Julie, are just the funniest. All the food related YouTubers. Oh, Jasmine as well. That's so Jasmine. This is not as good cold, I'll be honest. I think usually Domino's pizza is actually better cold. But because this is cheese based, it goes hard and it's just like, ugh. I'll link all of those YouTubers down below, by the way, if you haven't already heard them. If you haven't, go check them out because they're best. 
first thing you do when you get home from work i love this question there is one thing that i will always always do when i get in from work and that is get into my pajamas obviously today is a different day but on the whole i'll get into my pajamas and take my makeup off no messing around get it off guys i'm nearly there i'm nearly there this girl is a machine so last but not least i've ended on a high i've got my little dough ball left which of your parents do you resemble oh my god these are so good i'm so glad i finished on this i resemble both my parents for very different reasons i feel like of all my siblings i probably resemble both of them the most i look very like my mum a lot of people say i look like my mum we also act very similar like in just the way we are and like our personalities are so similar and then with my dad there are also so many similarities my nose is the same as my dad's my body figure is like the same as my dad's because he has like a really long torso and really short legs and i also have quite a long torso and short legs how many partners have you had mm, 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 mm. i'm in a relationship currently and that is the only relationship i've ever been in which is kind of crazy i'm kind of lucky <laughs> but yeah we've been together for four years and i haven't been in a relationship before that so i'm yet to experience heartbreak Such words. even though i'm like insanely full right now i'm very sad for these profil profit rolls these dough balls to be over because they are so insanely good guys i'd so get these again fave netflix show either the office or emily in paris whenever i go on walks the only thing i'll ever listen to aside from music is the office ladies podcast guys apart from the fries that was so much better than i thought it was going to be and i think the pizza for me it was the base that did it like the base was so nice i mean the flavors were really good as well but that base is a game changer for me oh my god this food has taken me an hour to eat <laughs> domino's mcbang complete and i've just got garlic sauce on my carpet ah if anyone's ever found a dip that's better than the garlic and herb domino's dip i will be astounded and also send me the link anyway guys thank you so flipping much for watching i hope you have enjoyed i didn't think i'd like the pizza as much as i did i don't know if i'd get it again but it definitely wasn't as bad as I thought. The chips were horrendous. I would never get those again. The frank sauce was bad as well. Also, what happened to the... Was it cream egg cookies? What happened to them? Because I was so excited when I went on the menu today. So, oh my god, I'm going to get some cream egg cookies. Nowhere to be seen. I'm actually gutted. I am now incredibly full and in a bit of a food coma. So, I feel like when my head hits the pillow, I'm out. I'm out for the count. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video. I'm sure I will see you very, very soon for another video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.